latest news coverage of 1963, the year JFK was assassinated. And tomorrow's inside story here on Entertainment Tonight, guns and shooting. One that's endured theorizes that the mob somehow may have been behind the shooting. Rita Braver reports tonight on that theory and the evidence as we continue our series, 25 years. Three shots were fired at Colonel Kennedy. Mafia hit. I really don't know what, what the situation is about. Nobody the Warren Commission found that Lee Harvey Oswald, an unstable, oddball character, acted alone and was then killed by Jack Ruby, another unstable, oddball character who acted alone. But studying evidence unearthed later, the House Assassinations Committee and other scholars have found new relationships linking both Ruby and Oswald to organized crime. What we did that the Warren Commission didn't do is explore possible associations between Lee Harvey Oswald and Jack Ruby. Not directly, but uh, uh, through secondary people. The mob links begin here in New Orleans, where Lee Harvey Oswald spent much of his youth living with his uncle, Dux Moret, who operated right here on this French Quarter block as a bookmaker in the gambling network run by the boss of the New Orleans mob, Carlos Marcello. Marcello was a key target of Attorney General Robert Kennedy's anti-mafia crusade. Kennedy even had him temporarily deported to Guatemala. And just grabbed the guy, he just couldn't call his wife. As he said, I, mean, I couldn't even get a toothbrush or a little cash for a change of clothes. It was very well known in southern Louisiana that Carlos Marcello had sworn to eventually get the Kennedys. And during a meeting at Marcello's fishing camp outside New Orleans, the mobster was quite specific, according to a former private investigator who says he got to know Marcello while working undercover. And he said to me, what you do is you cut off the head of the dog and then the tail dies. And I had instant recognition on that sentence. What did you think it meant? I think it meant that you killed the president and, and uh, Bobby is taken care of. Even back when he was a Senate investigator, Robert Kennedy had given mobsters other reasons to hate the family. You tell us anything about any of your operations? Or just uh, uh, giggle every time I ask you a question? The kind of answer you can't answer me, my answer my son is somebody. I thought only little girls giggled at the same time. <laughs> Chicago mobster Sam Giancana. The same Sam Giancana who was close to John Kennedy's mistress, Judith Exner. She now claims she set up a meeting between Giancana and the president-to-be at Kennedy's request. And I asked him why, and he said he thought he could help him with the election. And I proceeded to do so. She says later Giancana joked about delivering Chicago votes for Kennedy. He used to make sarcastic remarks to me that, that uh, your boyfriend wouldn't be president if it wasn't for me. So according to mob theorists, the Mafia felt double-crossed by Robert Kennedy's vendetta. And the theory goes Mafia chief Marcello recruited the nephew of one of his bookies as the assassin, Lee Oswald, using as a go-between David Ferry, a shady New Orleans type who died mysteriously in 1967. As for Jack Ruby's ties to the mob, they allegedly went back to his boyhood in Chicago and continued in Dallas. The bar he ran uh, uh, had was part of the circuit with two girls. Uh, uh, prostitutes uh, uh, and, and what have you. The place he got his girls from immediately was the show bar in uh, uh, Louisiana, connected to Carlos Marcello. His mobsters did recruit Jack Ruby, they came to the right man. He was a well-known cop buff with many friends on the Dallas police force. He had no trouble gaining access to this police department garage and moving in close enough to fire the shot that killed Lee Harvey Oswald. The world will never know the truth those cryptic remarks after his trial, Ruby never claimed he was a hired gun. And others who study the evidence totally reject the mob theory. Mafia hitmen are closed-mouthed, uh, uh, unemotional killers who have a long track record of effectively carrying out murder contracts for the uh, 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 mob. Oswald and Ruby are the most unlikely mafia hitmen that anyone could possibly imagine. 
The one man who might know all, Carlos Marcelo, is in federal prison on racketeering charges and refused to be interviewed. And even those who support the mob theory admit that there is not enough proof to support a prosecutable case. The U.S. Justice Department recently announced that it will not look further into the assassination unless some new evidence is available. So we may never know whether a plot to kill President Kennedy was hatched in this city. Rita Braver, CBS News, New Orleans. Tomorrow night, David Martin on the assassination, the CIA, and Cuba. For now, that's tonight's CBS Evening News. Dan Rather, see you tomorrow. Good night.